Okay, so now let's take a look at this lower screen left side and we have a few options here. So this is our timeline. This is our player head. So wherever this is, is where we are on the actual player. You could always zoom in by scrolling with the middle mouse button. You could see it affects our timeline. We could always zoom out as well. You could always uh, just click and drag this to do a similar effect. And if you want to get into the nitty gritty or just a little bit at a time, you can hit the plus or the minus. Now let's say you want a very specific section of your video clip to export or to work on or even just a preview. Let's just say I want to look at from one second to three seconds. So how do I do that? The easiest way is simply just to type it in. So I'm going to start clearing this out. Zero and one. I hit enter. For that to be my starting point, I actually want to hit this button here. Okay, that essentially is your mark in. And if I want to clear that out or any mark ins and mark outs, you hit this button to clear. You could also hit I to mark in. And it'd be the same exact thing. Two, three, hit enter. Okay, that'll take you to the spot where your player head is at. And you could either hit this button or just simply hit the button O. And that'll be your out. So now you have your in and out points. And then I could just press play and it's only going to play that section, which is perfect. So now if I only want to preview that section, I could do that. So let's put on an enhancement. We're going to do a Nix and I'm going to render in and out. While we're here in this section, let's take a look at this. This is our preview. So this allows us to see minimum of five frames. Uh, how many seconds you want to see previewed or in and out so i have selected two seconds here um so i can either click this or the easiest thing is just to do in and out which is what i have already but at default we'll click this you might get something like five seconds or two seconds okay so what this means is this is how many seconds that you will be able to see a preview for so before you start actually exporting and potentially render for several minutes to hours, depending on the length and complexity of your enhancements and video, it might be a good idea to just look at a few seconds here and there just to make sure that the result is what you want. And by doing that, you select here the amount of time you want to preview. In my case, I just want to look at it from the in and out points. Okay, so just click the button. There we go. We'll start processing. The nice thing is in processing, it shows you how much time remains and also shows you how many frames per second that is processing. So now you can see this is current and before, after, before, after. And since I have this marked in, marked out, it's going to loop when I press play in just the section that I, I want to look at. Okay, great.